Games. Natural 79 here, and welcome back to another deck profile video for Card Fight Vanguard Dear Days. Alrighty, let's get started, pressing the A button now. Loading game and proceeding. Here we are on the main menu, we're going to edit deck menu. And now in today's video, the deck profile I'm gonna be making one for is a Stoikea. Sylvan Horn Beast King, Magnolia, D Booster 3. So I'm gonna be using this Magnolia D Booster 2 deck as the base of, of the deck I'm gonna build. Alright, let's begin. So going to edit deck. Here we are in the deck menu. So for today, like I just mentioned before, the deck I'm building in today's deck profile video is a Stoikea Nations, Sylvanhorn Beast King, Magnolia deck comprised of cards mainly available up until D Booster 3. So, okay, first let's go to filter settings, choosing pack, only show cards from D Booster 1, Genesis of the Five Greats, D Booster 2, A Brush of the Legends, D Booster 3, Advance of Intertime Swars, and Festival Collection 2021, apply filter. Okay. So, first up, the Grade 3 lineup for the Grade 3 this deck we're playing. Right deck, grade 3, Silverhorn Beast Game, Magnolia, skill, auto, it's a vanguard. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked, counterblast 1, if you cost them hate, choose one of your other rear guards, and until the end of the turn, this that unit can attack from the back row, it gets plus 5,000 power. If you persona that turn, choose 3 cards instead of 1. Silver Magnolia, she's the main grade 3 to run this deck, her skill. When at, at the end of the battle, this unit attacked by paying a cost of counterblast 1, you can give any rear guard in your field the ability to attack in the back row and give it a little extra power. And if you pursue a roll that turn, three rear guards can get the ability to attack in the back row and get plus 5,000 power. So with Magnolia, it's, it's possible to attack four to six times in one turn with the right cards in your field. So for Magnolia, we're playing four, keeping one the right deck. Next up, Grade 3, Silverhorn Beast, Alrante, taking it out. The Great 2 lineup, right deck, Great 2, Silverhorn Beast King, Lattice, for skills, for skill, auto. When this unit is rolled upon by Silverhorn Beast King Magnolia, so last one. If the cost been paid, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a unit card, call it the rear guard circle. If not, print your hand. And second skill, auto as a bet as a rear guard, back row. When this unit attacks a vanguard, so last one. If the cost been paid, this unit gets plus 10,000 power until the end of the turn. So for Lattice, he's the main grade 2 to ride his deck for the first skill, just by riding Magnolia on top of him. By paying the cost, you can check the top card of your deck, and superior calls to your rear guard if it's a unit card, if not, add to your hand. So for Lattice, it's a good way to, the first skill is a good way to more or less increase the number of attackers or boosters on the back row, or the chances of getting a order card to your hand with, with the right cards in your deck to play with. So the second skill, by attacking from the back row, by paying the soul blast of 1, it gets plus 10,000 power. So for Lattice, he can be a 20,000 point attacker from the back row all on his own as long as you meet the requirements for the skill and pay the cost. So for Lattice, playing 1 the right deck, keeping it that way. Next up, Grade 2, Silverhorn Beast, Ginoza, skill, auto, back row, rear guard, circle. When this unit attacks, counter blast one. If the cost is paid, choose one of your other rear guards. It gets the power of this unit's power until the end of the turn, increased by this unit's power at a time. So we're getting those as another support card for the Magnolia deck. Just by attacking from the back row, by paying a counter blast of one, any other rear guard in your field gets the power that Gnosa had after its attack. So Gnosa is a good way to increase the power of your remaining attackers in your rear guard. So for Gnosa, we got four taking one out, playing three. Next up, the great two, Sylvan Horn Beast, Damai Naru, skills for skill, auto. When this unit is placed in the rear guard circle, if your vanguard is Sylvan Horn Beast can Magnolia, cost, so last one. If the cost and paid, choose one of your rear guards, and until the end of the turn, it gets can attack from the back row and plus 5,000 power. And second skill, auto as a rear guard once returned. When this unit is chosen by your vanguard's effect, this unit gets plus 5,000 power until the end of the turn. So for Damai Naru, he's a support guard on Magnolia deck for skill. Just by calling it to the rear guard while your vanguard is Magnolia, by paying the cost of Soul Blast 1, you can give one of your rear guards the ability to attack from the back row and plus 5,000 power. So for the first skill, it more or less empowers a back row unit and lets it attack, so increasing the number of attacks you can make in that turn. And the second skill, when chosen by your vanguard's effect, for this, for example, Magnolia, it gives plus 5,000 power. So 
The second skill is meant to be used of Magnolia's second skill of first skill of Counter Blasting 1 and giving a back row unit the attack to power the ability to attack and plus power. So with that Minaru, it can stack more power to the effect, letting it attack from the back row with Magnolia's skill and using the two skills of Magnolia and Damainaru to at least give Damainaru a extra power boost, making it a 20,000 point attacker with the two skills. So for Damainaru, we got four, taking one out, playing three. Next up, Great two, Silver Horn Beast King, Bajo Corn, taking it out. The Great two, Silver Horn Beast, Duger, skill, continues as a rear guard. If you have four or more other rear guards, this unit is plus 5,000 power. So for Duger, it's a pretty decent part of playing your Stoic K Nation decks. Just by having four or more other rear guards, then your Duger will get plus 5,000 power, making it a 15,000 foot attacker all by itself. So for Duger, we're playing three, keeping three. Okay, next up. The Great Two. We're playing the Great Two, Sylvan Horn Beats, Gabrick, Skill, Auto as a rear guard. When your other unit in the same column, this unit attacks, cost, Soul Blast 1. If the cost and pay, this unit gets plus 10,000 power until the end of the turn. Choose all of your opponent's rear guards, and for the that battle that this unit attack this turn, your opponent cannot call cards to the same grace that shows in units from their hand. So, with Gabrick, his skills wants a support card for the units in the same column as it. So, when the unit in the same column as it attacks by paying a cost, it gets plus 10,000 power, and it can, your opponent cannot guard with the same grade as the attacking unit. So, ideally, get break is a good way to empower your other attackers and to restrict your opponent's guard options. So, for guard break, we're playing three. Next up, grade two, Sylvan Horn Beast, end bar, skills for skill. Auto, when this unit is placed in a rear guard or guardian circle, if your vanguard is Sylvan Horn Beast Can Magnolia, this unit gets plus 5,000 power and flies, flies 5,000 shield until the end of the turn. Second skill, auto from the back row rear guard. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked, you may return this unit to your hand. Silver so End Bar is another support card for the Magnolia decks, the first skill. Just by calling to the rear guard or calling the guardian circle, as long as your vanguard is Magnolia. End bar can serve as a 13,000 point attacker or 10,000 point shield all on its own. Second skill, after attacking from the back row, you can return end bar to your hand. So this second skill more or less works well with Magnolia's skill and its own first skill. Just by after attacking from the back row, you'll be able to return end bar from your hand. So it's thus securing you a 10,000 point shield with end bar alone. So for end bar, we're playing four. Okay, next up. The great one, the great one lineup. For the great ones, instead we're playing right deck, great one, Sylvan Horn Beast Karras, skills for skill auto. When this unit is written upon by Sylvan Horn Beast Lattice, if you may reveal the top card of your deck, if it is a great two or less unit card, call to regard circle. If not, put it into your soul. Second skill, continuous, back row rear guard. During the battle, this unit attack, it gets plus 5,000 power. So for Karras, he's the main great one to ride his deck. The first skill, just by riding in Lattice on top, you can check the top card of your deck. If it's a great two or less unit, you can call to the rear guard circle. If not, put it into your soul. So for this first skill, it's a good way to increase the number of attackers or boosters in your field, and or at least the increase your soul soul cards to soul blast with later. And a second skill, just by attacking from the back row rear guard, Karis can serve as a 13,000 point attacker. So for Karis, playing one the right deck, keeping it that way. Next up. The Great One, Planner Prevent Dragon, Sentinel Perfect Guard, Skills are First Skill, Continuous Sentinel, Second Skill, Auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, choose one of your units, and it cannot be hit until the end of battle. If your hand has two or more cards, choose a card from your hand and discard it. So for Planner Prevent Dragon, he's a perfect guard for the Stoic Chaos Nation. Like any other perfect guard in the Card Fight Vanguard trading card game, he features the same skill and activation. When used to guard with, by discarding one card, you can block one enemy attack. But he also features an ability unique to all these standard format perfect guards. When used to guard with, and you have less than two cards in hand, you will not have to pay the usual discard one cost, making Planner Prevent a no cost perfect guard in last resort desperate situations. So, for Planner Prevent, we're playing four, keeping in four, okay? Next up, the Great One, Main of the Repression, Urjula, taking it out. The Great One, Silver Horn Beast Coochie, taking it out. And in their places, we're putting in, let's see. Putting in the 
great one prize trident skill auto is a rear guard when your other unit attacks if it is the fifth battle of the turn cost put this unit into your soul if the cost been paid counter charge one so for prize trident he's a decent card to play in your stoic nation decks after if, if another unit in your field attacks, if it's the fifth unit of that, if it's the fifth battle of that turn, as long as you don't mind putting Prize Trident from your rear guard into the soul, you can counter charge one. So, Prize Trident is a good way to not only restock your soul, but also refund your counter blast for later skills. So, for Prize Trident, we're playing four. Okay, next up, the Great Zero lineup. For the Great Zero this deck, we're playing. Right deck, grade 0, 7 point beats latte, skill, auto. When this unit is written upon, if you went second, draw a card. So for latte, he's starting in this deck. Just by riding on top of him, he went second, you get to draw a card. So we got one the right deck, keeping it that way. Next up, the grade 0, normal order, wild intelligence, skill, order. Play the counter blast of 1, if the cost and paid. Discard the 3 cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to 1 card the same grade as your vanguard or lower from the drop zone. Call the rear guard circle. If your Vanguard is Sylvanhorn, Beast Game, Magnolia, choose up the two cards instead of one. So for Wild Intelligence, it's a support card for the Magnolia decks. By paying the cost, dropping three cards from your deck, you can choose any card from your drop zone It's the same grade or less than your Vanguard, called the Rear Guard Circle. And if your Vanguard is Magnolia when paying this order, you can call two cards instead of one. So this order card is a good way to restock your Rear Guards with attackers or boosters, especially when your Vanguard is Magnolia. So for Wild Intelligence, we're playing three, okay. And now for the trigger lineup, for the triggers of this deck, we're playing. Grade zero, Silver Horn Beast Jackal, critical trigger, playing four. The grade zero, Silver Horn Beast Pauletter, draw trigger, taking it out, replacing it with the grade zero, Aspiring Maiden Alana, critical trigger, skill, auto as a rear guard. At the end of battle, this unit boosted. Cost, put this into your soul, if the cost has been paid, choose one of your units, it, can, it gets plus 2,000 power until the end of the turn. So for Alana, it's a powerful critical trigger to play in your Stoic Cane Nation decks. It's skill after boosting an attack, as long as you don't mind moving Alana from your rear guard to the soul. It can give one of your remaining attackers, Vanguard or rear guard, plus 2,000 power. So for Alana, she's a good way to restock your soul and to give your remaining attackers in the field a little extra power to work with. So for Alana, we're playing four. Next up, the Great Zero, Frenzied Eris, Front Trigger, Skill, Continuous, Guardian. If your opponent's Vanguard is great for your greater, this unit equals 5,000 shield. So for Frenzied Eris, she's a powerful Front Trigger to play in your Stoic K Nation decks, just by using her to guard. And if your opponent's Vanguard is great for your more, you can spell Shield, making Frenzied Eris a 20,000 point shield on her own. So for Frenzied Eris, we've got three in the deck, keeping it that way. Next up. Great Zero, Seven Horn Beasts, Ladder Up, Heal Trigger, playing four. And finally, Great Zero, Source Dragon, Deity of Blessings, uh, Bless Favor, Over Trigger, Skill, Trigger, Additional Effect, Draw a Card, Choose one of your units, it gets plus one critical until the end of the turn. All of your front row units gets plus 10,000 power. And if your damage zone has the same number of cards as your opponents or more, choose a card from your damage zone and heal it. So for Bless Favor, he's the Over Trigger for the Stoic K Nation. Like any other over trigger in the card by Vanguard trading card game, he features the same skill and activation. When revealed during a drive check or damage check, you gain 100 million power and draw a card, but he also has an ability unique to him. When revealed during a drive check on your turn, you can draw a card, give one of your units plus one critical, your front row gets plus 10,000 power, and you can heal one damage if you meet the requirements. So basically, best favors like all four D standard threat triggers in one card a draw trigger, critical trigger, front trigger, and heal trigger all in one. So for Blessed Favor, we got one deck, keeping one, so alright, deck built, card first explained, so let's get on to saving up the deck, alright deck being built. Alright, so for the cards in this deck, we're playing 4, grade 3, Silver Horn Beast King, Magnolia. 1, grade 2, Silver Horn Beast, Lattice. 3, grade 2, Silver Horn Beast, Genosa. 3, Great 2, Seven Horn Beast, Damai Naru. 3, Great 2, Seven Horn Beast, Gabrek. 4, Great 2, Seven Horn Beast, Enbar. 3, Great 2, Seven Horn Beast, Duger. 
One, Great One, Silver Horn Beast, Karras. Four, Great One, Planet Prevent Dragon. Four, Great One, tries tried it. One, Great Zero, Silver Horn Beast, Latte, starting unit. Three, Great Zero, Wild Intelligence. And for the triggers in his deck, we're playing eight critical triggers, three front triggers, four heal triggers, and one over trigger plus favor. All right, deck built, card effects explained, so. Now it's time to test out the deck, so let's leave the edit deck menu, return to main menu to fight menu, choosing CPU fight, choosing the deck I just built, Magnolia, D-Booster 3, and now choosing an opponent from my opponent I'm going to be using it against, Tomari Seto, Brad Gate, Noble Difficulty. Alright, so the battle begins, let's get started. Okay, so first let's decide who goes first. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock the rock, one more time. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Scissors, paper, I win, going first. Nice. Drawing our starting hands, and... Okay, I got a planet prevent, perfect guard. A heal trigger. Wild intelligence, a critical trigger, and... Tries tried it, okay. I gotta hold on to the perfect guard. Wild intelligence will help me later when I get to grade 3, and... Fry's Trident is a good way to secure my Counter Blast, so I'm just gonna send back the two triggers. We draw. Okay, I got Ganosa and another Fry's Trident. Not bad. My turn. I'm going to ride for my right deck. Silver Horn Beast Karras. For the right deck cost, I'm going to discard. Let's see. I got two Tridents, one Ganosa, a N Bar, and one Wild Intelligence, the perfect guard. It's a no-brainer, gotta keep all these cards for offense and defense, so I'm just gonna discard the second copy of Fry's Tried in my hand. Right, Karis. So, end of turn. My opponent's turn. She rides the Great One. Kianite Blue. Skill of the base, she draws a card. She discarded the heal trigger, okay. Skill to add Galactalus to hand. And now. She calls a rear guard, calling another one. She rests one to play the Gatsy Prison, okay. Soul charging three, she soul charge. Yes! All oh, triggers! Imprisoning a drop zone card, alright. Alright, she's attacking the Vanguard. No guard, take the hit. And drop check. Ah, critical trigger, come on! Two damage. Alright, so. Effects added, and two damage to me. Ow! Damage check first, no trigger. Second check. No trigger, alright. And now the rear guard attacks the vanguard. Okay, not enough to guard, so just let the attack go through, no guard. And here it comes! Ow! Damage check. No trigger, okay. So now it's my turn, I'm going to draw. Alright. I'm going to write for my right deck, Silver Horn Beast Lattice. For the right deck cost, let's see. Alright, in my opponent's prison, she's got Fry's Trident, so I guess I can discard Fry's Trident from my hand for the right deck cost. Right, Lattice, Skill of Karis. Look at the top card of my deck. It is a Genoza, nice superior call to the rear guard. Call. Next up, I call... Okay, let's see... I activate the prison skill. I soul blast one. And superior call prize trident from the prison to the rear guard over here. There we go. Okay, that should do it. Beginning battle phase. Trident attacks the rear guard. Bag of order. Alright, one rear guard down. Now my vanguard attacks the vanguard. 
Drive check. Come on, something good. Yes, critical trigger. Just what I needed. Critical to Vanguard. Power to Genosla. Effects added. And two damage to my opponent. Slash. Damage check first. No trigger. And second check. What's she getting? No trigger. Nice. So, all right. 20,000 power from Genosa. Should I attack the Vanguard or the Rear Guard? Okay, then. This is a tough choice. Should I retire a Rear Guard or attack the Vanguard? To be. I guess I'll just lay the pressure, attack the Vanguard. She guards for critical trigger, so the attack is blocked. Alright, so that's the end of my turn. My opponent's turn. He rides. The great two, Rizzit Pink. Pink skill. I imprison one card in my hand. I'm imprisoning Genosa. And now, Bag Motor skill. He imprisons my great one. Alright. Calling the. To calling Resident Piane to soul charge. Okay, she's soul. In her soul now, she's soul charge. Perfect guard, nice. Okay, so rear guard to vanguard. I guard with a critical trigger, 25k. Attack blocked. Now my opponent attacks me with vanguard to vanguard. No guard, take the hit. And now, drive check. No trigger, nice. So only one damage. Damage check. No trigger. And now one. Okay, the great one. Let's see. In my prison, I have a great two and great one. I gotta hold on the critical trigger to guard with. So, hmm. In my drop zone, we got tried it. So, okay, no guard. Let the attack go through. And okay, one rear guard down. My turn, I stand draw. I ride to my right deck. Silver Horn, Beast K, Magnolia. For the right deck cost, let's see. I got two triggers, a N bar, Wild Intelligence, and a Perfect Guard. Okay. In the prison, I got Karis and Ganosla, so I guess I'll discard N bar for the right deck cost. Riding Magnolia. Now, Lattice Skill. I Soul Blast 1. Look at the top card of my deck. Critical trigger. Superior call, I guess. So to here. There we go. Now I activate the prison skill. I counter blast one. And superior call two cards in the prison. I call Karis and Genosla to the rear guards. Hmm, okay, that should do it. Okay, then let's see. I guess I'll leave it like this, so... Hmm. There's still no, nothing left in the prison, so... Okay, then... Going to battle phase, first up. My rear guard, Genoa's on the right, attacks the rear guard. Azalea. Attack goes through, one rear guard down, okay. Now, my vanguard boosted by Elena attacks the vanguard, 17k. The attack goes through, knight, twin drive, first check, no trigger, Genosla, and second check, no trigger, Ganbara, okay. So, one damage to my opponent. Here it comes, so. Bloom and one damage, damage check. Yes, no trigger, and it's a Seraph Snow. One less card to Persona right with, nice. So, first up, a lot of skill into the soul. Give power to Karis. And now my Vanguard skill. Counter Blast 1. I give my rear guard Karis the ability to attack in the back row and some extra power. And now let's see, Genosa attacks unboosted, attacks the rear guard, restraint Piani. 
Okay, one rear guard down. And now boost it from the, nope, just from the back row. Karo stacks the Vanguard, skill plus power, 20k. And okay, one damage. Damage check. Yes, critical trigger, she wasted a trigger. Make the right choice, so. Okay, so that's the end of my turn, my opponent's turn. She rides the Great Three, Sarah Snow. And now, Vanguard skill, she's going to imprison my rear guards. She imprisons my front row, okay? Calling a rear guard. Skill, she soul charges. Okay, she soul charge. Yeah, perfect and critical, so not a, not bad for me. So, okay, Vanguard to Vanguard. I'm going to perfect guard of Planet Prevent, perfect guard. And for the perfect guard cost, let's see. I got two Gnozlas in the prison, so I guess I can afford to give up the Gnozla in my hand. Perfect guard cost, discard. She twin drives, first check, no trigger, back motor, and second check. No trigger, prison, alright. Attack blocked. And now an attack from the rear guard. 18k in total, 10k to guard, okay then, I guess I'll guard the heal trigger, wait, should I guard this guy instead? He gets power when attacking, okay then, I guess I'll guard with, hold on, no, this is a tough choice. I'm gonna guard the heal trigger and oh, no, let me just check my drop zone. Okay, I got N bar in the drop zone. Okay, I know what to do. I'm guarding with N bar. Skill activated, plus 5,000 shield. Total 23k. Attack blocked. Alright, the attack does not go through, so now it's my turn. I'm gonna stand and draw. Alright. Going to main phase. I'm going to activate order card. Wild intelligence. Yep. I play the order card, wild intelligence. Superior call two cards from my drop zone. I'm calling Price Trident. No wait. I'm calling. Hmm. I'm calling Gabrick. Hmm, okay then, yep, I'm calling Gaybrick and Genbar, Enbar to the rear guard. Yep, these two. Call. Enbar skill plus 5,000 power. And next up. I activate the prison skill, I soul blast one. And superior call for my prison. Ginoza. That should be enough. I'm going to battle phase. Alright, so first up, my Vanguard attacks the Vanguard. She guards the back motor. One pass, twin drive. Yes, critical trigger. Alright, I give. All effects to my Vanguard. Effects added and second check. No trigger, perfect guard, alright. So I break through the guard. And the flowers bloom. Guard shattered. Two damage. Here it comes. Damage check first. Ah, draw trigger. Increasing hand size at power, so second check. What will it be? No trigger, alright! Cannot heal. So 6 damage, I win! Not too bad. So the deck worked pretty well for the whole fight, so... I win, perfect guarded, 6 turns pass. Did a, and did a superior call, got 1150 VP, total 23,050 VP, press A to go next. Okay, so I finished testing out the deck, so let's leave the fight menu, going back to 
the main menu to edit deck menu. All right, so the deck has been built. Carfest is playing, and I just test out the deck in front of you. So. With that, that's all the time we have for today, so first off, I want to say thank you to the viewers watching today's video, and to please stay tuned for more videos I plan to upload again in the near future. I also hope you all show support by liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing to my videos and channel, and with that, I say goodbye, and see you all.